Right now, me, Stefan, Truls and Thomas are heading towards Finland, uh, the northern part of Finland. It's just a two, three hour drive away from where I live. So uh, it's quite easy for us to get there. Um, we are chasing fall colors. I can show you. Yeah, so the other guys, they just uh, went up here. So I'm gonna go after them, make sure they don't get those good shots without me. Struggling just a little bit to find compositions here. Um, I really want to get some trees in, in the frame, uh, use them in the foreground to really um, emphasize the, uh, the uh, yellow leaves and everything, but it's very hard to, uh, to place them correctly in the image. But I think I have something here. Um, my camera is right here. There. <laughs> and uh, you can see this river running uh, towards me here. It will be on the left side of the frame and you have the waterfall over here. And there you have um, Stefan and the others, Turks and Thomas. Uh, but um, Stefan is the one that um, was neatly placed in the middle of the waterfall over there with his uh, orange uh, jacket. So I kind of like that composition. Uh, let's see how it turns out. All right, we just arrived in Finland. We are now in Kilpisjärvi. <laughs> I believe it's uh, pronounced uh, something like that, but uh, we just call it Kilpis uh, for short. So what we have here, uh, there's a mountain behind me, as you can see, and it's pretty flat around it. So it kind of pokes out there. It's just a lonely mountain. So I think it works well as a subject for the background. And in the foreground, I'm uh, using these uh, stones right now. Uh, they are kind of bright in comparison to the water. So I'm also using a polarizer to enhance that effect. So uh, what that does is it makes the uh, water even uh, darker than uh, uh, it actually is, <laughs> I guess. So I get a big contrast uh, between uh, the uh, stones here and the water itself. There are also other compositions here to be found, of course, uh, like right here. You can see this yellow grass uh, sticking out of the water and there's actually a lot of like uh, grass here too, but it's green. So I think it looks kind of cool if I can really pull out those colors and uh, uh, so the difference is uh, showing in the image. So uh, yeah, but it's difficult here for sure uh, and it's raining a lot. so. I constantly have to um, uh, dry off my filters and uh, my camera lenses and everything. But um, yeah, we're trying. So I'm actually back at Senja now. Um, this will be one week later than the rest of the video, but I'm still chasing fall colors. So I'll just consider this like a second part of the same video. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is uh, on the other side of the lake here, uh, you can see there's this uh, wall of uh, trees over there. 
Uh, some of them are pure red, so it caught my attention. I think uh, the contrast between the reds and the yellows are uh, really cool. Um, right now, I'm using my 100 to 400 millimeter lens, so I'm just uh, zooming in on uh, the details uh, over there on the other side and trying to uh, find some uh, good compositions. So I'm trying something a little bit different here, um, some uh, abstract uh, stuff. Um, I noticed that I really liked reflections over here on the other side. So I tried to zoom in on the reflections alone because I think they look good um, just uh, by themselves. It looks very abstract and kind of uh, artsy, but uh, I like it. It's just very soothing to look at. So while uh, editing these photos later, I might flip them around uh, because the reflections are upside down, of course, but um, I'm not sure. Um, we'll have to see, I guess. Okay, I decided to stop by this mountain you see right behind me here. It's called uh, Krokalvtinden, I believe. Um, I have been here uh, several times before. It's um, kind of a difficult um, shot to make, I think, because this place really requires some good conditions. And right now it's, uh, it's decent, but I think I have better shots from here because um, I think it was two years ago during the fall. We had these uh, orange colors around here, of course, just like now. but we had uh, snow in the mountain peaks. Uh, so this peak was covered in snow and I think it looks uh, really cool. But right now we, we have some clouds up there at least. So I think it looks pretty good. And I will um, try a different composition this time. I think this looks uh, pretty clean uh, the way I have composed this. So um, I'm just gonna try this out and uh, see if it works. After a little while, the mountain was completely covered in clouds and I decided to just move on. I'll end this video with some shots I got while making this. Thanks for watching, and to see more, visit my Instagram at chrisvang.